Hi folks, and welcome back for more Let's Play the Pandora Directive. If you recall, we had just managed to finally translate that letter, and I read it in just barely enough time. But we have pretty much exhausted all of our leads here on Chandler, so I think it's time we did a little bit of traveling. And we can go here. We need to travel out to this cabin. David Wright's cabin is out in the middle of nowhere. The place appears to be totally abandoned. The door's unlocked, but as soon as I step inside, I sense something wrong. Like I'm just about to open a carton of milk that's been sitting out in the sun too long. And if you recall, we got the, ad we got the location of this cabin from that uh, one note we found earlier. So let's take a look around. Well, someone must have been here regularly because no one would have live plants if they weren't going to take care of them. These plants are so dried up, they must have been dead for a while. Books in the case have really been shoved around. And this door's jammed shut. Hmm. Couch looks like a family heirloom. Whoever came through here to straighten up missed the lamp. That's an interesting picture. Some sort of ancient temple. More with the ancient temples. This must be Mr. Wright, the owner of the cabin. I hope he doesn't come in with it, you know, while we're exploring, because that would be kind of awkward. Don't you think? Couch looks like a family heirloom. Nice wad of paper. Wad of paper. Oh, okay. Let's examine it. Another witness to the bizarre events of July 1947 may have been New Mexico Lieutenant Governor Ho Joseph Montoya. According to sources close to Montoya, he, witnessed, he visited the military base shortly after the UFO crash and, when speaking to his friend soon after, appeared very pale, almost white, shaking, and very, very scared. After consuming half a quart of whiskey, Montoya told friends that he had seen four little men. He described their size, short, skinny-like, facial features, big eyes, the mouth was real small, like it cut across a piece of wood, and went on to say that one was alive. With, while these excerpts of conversation are subjective and impossible to authenticate, they are one of thousands that indicate the fact that there was indeed a UFO crash followed by a massive government cover-up. Contributed by A.E. Hmm, A.E. I wonder who A.E. is. But puzzle of the month. Fill in the grid so there are four blue squares, three red, three white, three green, and three yellow. And a horizontal, vertical, or diagonal row can have this more than one square with the same color. Good luck! Cosmic Connection Newsletter, page 13. Okay. This tree probably died years ago. Makes quite a conversation piece, though. If I'm correct, there should be one more thing that we can look around. There it is. Interesting. I bet this will run on my computer back at the office. Yeah, very interesting, huh? Rag's got brown stains all over it. No, that's blood. Hmm, bloody nice rag. Supply of firewood. Bloody rag, and the place looks like it's been pretty thoroughly trashed. Hmm, this door's locked, and I don't see a place for a key. Must be hooked up to some type of keyless entry system. Seems like a strange place to hang a painting. Well, let's move it. I want to see that. And a security keypad. I guess whatever's behind the door must be important. And, let's see. Invalid code. So, we do not have the code for this. And 
the you'll never guess that the way we get that code involves that CD we just found. And the rents, where's there it is? I believe it's in computer room. Travel to. And once again, we're about to find another puzzle. Oh, good grief. This is close I need to get. So, before I find this puzzle, I'm going to save. Yes, I want to do that. That's the only computer. Let's examine it. Interesting. I bet this will run on my computer back Looks at the office. Looks kind of scratched up, actually. Oh well. Now, do you remember the newspaper? Where it said where we had to fit all these in, and we couldn't have any one of them, you know... Or we couldn't have any same color on the same plane? Any horizontal, geographic vertical, etc. You know, we can't have any two on the same plane. Well, let's see, I think that could go there, that could go there, and that could go there. Yeah, I'm green. Have it there, and then it could go there. Yeah. I do believe we get there. Or I don't know what I'm talking about, because that just made it impossible, didn't it? Okay, I'd worked my way through this before. And I doubt you guys want to watch me fail this miserably. Let's do this. Each corner is going to have to have one in it. I have to have a white and a green in this line. And we're going to have to have a yellow and a red in that line. The white can go here. Yellow can go here. Green can go here. And red can go here. There we go. So. Now, does that look like anything? It looks almost exactly like the uh, little keypad, right? So the second, the fourth, the third one. Two, four, three, one. I'll just have to remember it that way. Well, let's travel, shall we? Back to the North America map. Travel to. Uh, security yes, keeps. Yes, yes, move. Two, four, three, one. There we go. The code is now accepted. And now we enter this little interesting room. That's not very big, but it contains quite a bit for us to look and poke around in. Looks like a post war map of Scotland. Paper scattered around appears to have fallen off the bookcase. Nothing interesting in the cup. Excuse me, folks. The cough. Desk made out of walnut. That's a. I don't think there's anything in there. Nope, nothing in there. Paper scattered around. All this paper is just kind of scattered around randomly. The stool looks like the ultimate in discomfort, especially with my back. Desk made out. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, now there's an antique. A real 16 millimeter projector. <laughs> you found a projector, huh? These books look like they've been tossed. Let's 
looks like a paper scattered around appears to we can fall move that paper case. and I'm going to issue a warning now if gross bothers you some of these floorboards appear to be loose if gross bothers you uh, turn away now oh lord someone put some good holes in this guy there's not much left of him, but I don't think this is Malloy, judging by the hair. Looks more like the guy in the photo downstairs. David Wright. The question is, who's responsible for this? And did they get Malloy, too? Okay, the gross is over. And I will try not to look back in that area. Bookcase door. It's a reel of 16 millimeter film. This reel looks at least a hundred years old. Well, let's hope it doesn't burn the place down if we try to use it, huh? It's the only thing in there. Books in the case are really... Well, someone must have been here regularly be Yeah. And because we have projector needs a screen... <laughs> Movie screen? Sheesh, I haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. Okay. And the movie screen will come next time. I know it's a little early, but I know this movie screen takes quite a while to get through this little video. So I think I can safely... Yeah, I can safely... Let's examine it. Oh, if you examine it, look. A autopsy in 47. I can't quite read what the little note there says, but yeah, there's this is a film canister. Now with that done, we are ready to watch a movie. But I will do that next time because this takes a minute or two to run through and I know I don't have I do not believe I'll have enough time to show this in the time I have left in the video. So when I come back, we will watch this little uh movie that's been preserved for, you know, almost a hundred years. So, until then, take care, folks. See you next time.